when we create a composite image we bring other images in and <coughs> place them on our background often these images look very disconnected from the background and look as if they're just floating on top we need to to place a shadow to sort of anchor our image to our background here i have a background of broken cement and here i have an image of a boot this, I'm going to put this image of the boot onto our broken concrete. I can do this one of two ways. I can go into select and select all, or alternatively use control A. I can go into edit, copy, or alternatively use control C. And then I can go to my background and I can go edit, paste, or use control V and I've placed my boot on my background. The other way to put our boot on the background is to go to our boot image, make sure it's not locked, which it's not, then using our move tool, click on the boot, holding the left mouse button down, drag the boot up and drop it over our background image. When the background image comes up, still with our finger on our left mouse button, grab the boot and drop it down onto our background. Now it certainly does look like it's just floating around there. So let's add a shadow. Firstly we'll rename the layer so we know which layers we're working on. We'll name this layer boot and we'll create a layer style. To create a layer style we click here in the layer styles icon and or we could double click here on the layer to bring up the layer styles box. Now in the layer styles we want to use the drop shadow. We'll click there and immediately a drop shadow has come up. It's come up with my last defaults. Yours will most likely come up with a much smaller drop shadow and this really doesn't matter because we're going to manipulate that shadow later. Um, but let's see what our defaults would come up like. The shadows coming above. We want our shadow below. So where were we there? And we might spread it out a little bit so we can see it. And change its size a little. This doesn't matter greatly because we are going to separate the shadow from the boot and manipulate it separately. So let's click OK. Now we do need to separate this shadow from the boot. So we go over here again onto our um, layer and click on our layer effects button. Right click the layer effects button to bring up the drop down menu and select create layer. We'll click OK on the next dialog box and now we have our shadow separated from our boot. Interest of tidiness, let's call this shadow. Now, with our shadow layer selected, we will transform it. We can hit Ctrl T on our keyboard to get free transform, or we can go into Edit, Free Transform. Once we have our transform box, we can right click and choose Distort. This lets us distort the layer we're on. Now let's distort this a little bit. We want to bring this down. Our shadows are on the bottom side and we're going to have quite a bit more shadow here because our boot is lifted up off the ground. So let's say we go there. We're distorting this a little bit and we want a little bit more here in the front. Um, we might just go a little bit this way and we've created our shadow. We can then hit enter on the keyboard to commit that. Now our shadow is a little bit harsh, so we'll go still on our shadow layer, we'll go filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And we'll just move the blur till we get the effect we want. The size of our blur again will depend on the size of our image. That's looking fairly okay. We'll click OK. 
if we've got a little bit of shadow, if we turn this on and off, we've got a little bit of shadow where we don't want it, because our shadow is on a separate layer, we can put a layer mask on, and with a black brush, just paint out where that shadow was a little bit heavier than we wanted it to be. And there we have our shadow. Switch it on and switch it off. 